Hey, it's Glenn Jones from theboilershop.com.au. Today we're looking at these stainless steel parts, looking at removing the protective film that, that comes on the material surface, taking it off, and the solvent to use to get rid of the residue that's left behind, and just pre preparing the materials and getting them ready for use. Now I'm just going to home in on this um, central welding feature. This is CF11, central welding feature 11. And so at the moment I've got uh, carbon steel, painted carbon steel. This is the stainless one that's going to, I'm also going to do a video on this so you can see the difference of different options. Same DXF file needs is used, just if you select the material of stainless or carbon steel. Two millimetre in both cases for the surface. So, so we're going to have a close look at this one first. So I'm just going to talk about this little lead-in point here. You'll see this little uh, gnarly bit that's just left on the edge of this material surface. And if you were to touch it, is it a little sharp? So it's something to be aware of. It look, it's 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 in comparison to plasma cutting. Look at the difference. So here's some plasma cutting. Look at this the the dross that's left behind, the slag that's left behind. It needs a good clean up. So the accuracy is so much more superior in laser cutting. Um, and you so you have minimal to clean up but just be aware of this leading point so the tool path this is the tooling coming around doing the cut uh, it comes in actually it comes in this way does the cut runs around and it comes in from here and then leads out so there's a little tiny bit that's left behind that needs to go and I would just get that on the edge of a linishing belt uh, uh, just be careful with grinders or anything like that to clean it up that it doesn't slip uh, you've damaged this item if you do slip so something like a linishing belt uh, would be much more controlled and better way to remove a lead in point. And as for the bit of slag, there's a tiny bit of slag that's left on this. And again, rubbing your fingers over it and hands over this, it can be a little, just be careful because these can just leave a nasty scar and get caught in like savage little splinters. So again, um, a bit of slag, this, this is it, but that, that leading point, this little bit of slag for the laser cutting, it's minimal, so there's hardly anything there. And if we did, were to zoom in on these holes here, you could see a tiny little bit left behind from the lead in and out over here, and it's consistent all over, but nothing to cause a concern or you don't need to clean up. So just using your fingernail only, don't use any metal objects because you could risk very easily scratching this material surface. So peel it back and what we're left with is this little residue that's left behind that we have to remove and that is a little, especially with a large item, that it's uh, quite, can be quite tricky to remove and just be aware that the stainless steel that I use uh, is generally for Unless I'm doing a thick, a thick shape like this, this is a 10 millimeters thick stainless steel. So this, as you can see, the scratching in that needs more polishing. Um, so this doesn't, you can't purchase this stuff polished at the thicker material in Australia, at least. But in, um, we can purchase mirror finish stainless in thinner section, a thinner material such as 1.6, 1.2, 1 millimeter, and I. I think up to three millimeters in Australia, but this is, I use two millimeters. If it's not the thick stuff like 10 mil, then I'm gonna be using two millimeter for everything else. So we see that this residue is left. What I do next is I grab one of these little pads um, out of here for uh, women's makeup. And I uh, use one of these pads, dip it into the wax and grease remover solvent. And I only use that to wipe down the surface to get rid of that residue. I did have previously tried old toothbrushes, but even then I've put minor, very minute, fine scratching on the surface. So I've gone away from anything else other than this cotton bud, and you can see that dirt coming up. So that'll pick this up nicely, give it a nice luster, a nice finish, and mirror finish stainless as part from it looking fantastic it's also so much better in the conditions even that's a little dirty I'll grab a new one um, the conditions out weather out, out, outdoors 
Um, the the mirror finish stainless stainless rather is so good for uh, you know pollution and um, salt air anything in the atmosphere. It does it has a tougher time sticking to mirror finish. If you had a brushed finish or other types of finishes, because it's a little rougher on the surface, the pollution or anything else in the environment will stick floating in the atmosphere will potentially stick to the stainless steel. But being mirror, uh, less product, less pollution and less um, you know, stuff in the atmosphere will stick to the surface. So yes, it does look good, but it's also the best thing to use for keeping clean as well. And even once a year, a little bit of WD-40, CRC or inox and wipe it over and just clean it off just to keep it nice and protected is always good practice. So that's about right. Still a few bits of stuff on there, but we'll we'll just dry that off and see how that comes up. So if we look at this old uh, gate feature, well, old, this is six years old, been, been in service six years, and you'll see from the state of it, it's been looked after, it's been washed with WD-40 probably twice in that six years. Uh, it's holding its well, it's got some minor scratches, some minor scuffs, but it's still looking very good. So it just shows you that stainless steel does look great and it does handle the conditions outdoors well, especially that mirror finish. If you click on the arrow under the video over here, that will open up the description section where you will find useful and relevant links. Please subscribe and click the little bell and you'll receive future notifications of any videos that I've made. And thanks for watching.